Now, as we look at day 59 of the drought, it drove up commodities prices today. Soybeans closed at $17. Lindsay Shively spent the day in Platte County. She joins me now with what farmers are talking about there as they deal with soybeans. Oh, you know, Mark, we've been talking about how hard hit the corn crop has been. Soybeans are faring just a little bit better. They're hanging on, but they are in serious danger. Days away from disaster if we don't get some kind of rain soon. You know, soybeans feed the entire world. The United States is one of the biggest producers. Listen to this. Kansas and Missouri alone make 290 million metric tons just last year. But again, days away from disaster. Marty Richardson walks through these soybeans regularly, just like his dad did and his grandfather. Oh, they're usually into right into my armpits. So they're probably, what, half, half the height. He farms with his sons, his granddaughter often by his side. Kenny Poo, you like this, don't you? But this drought is something only the generations before him can understand. All I can do is remember my dad and them telling me the stories about the 30s, but uh, this is going to be the worst one I think I've ever seen. He farms hundreds of acres where soybean plants like these usually bear around 75 bean pods each, usually. Plant's got one bean and it's got what? Two blooms in the top that could possibly be a bean. This one's pitiful. Richardson stands to lose thousands of dollars in most of his crop. If it rained tonight, you'd have uh, half a crop, and if it doesn't rain the next 10 days, it's pretty much over. A disaster for the product you use more than you think. But there's thousands of. Uh, of products they make soybeans out of foods and fuel and feed. Foods like mayonnaise and products from wood stain to deodorant, motor oil to ink and toner. Soybeans seep into our lives in several ways. It just it's like concrete. As Marty Richardson prays for drought relief. It's out of our hands because uh, all we can do is ask the Lord to give us a rain. You know, Mark, it was really hard for me to believe all of the things that uh, soybean oil was in, so I grabbed a packet of mayonnaise just from our newsroom stash. Not only is soybean oil in here, it's the number one, number one. ingredient. <laughs> it's the majority ingredient, so this is really going to start affecting us pretty soon. Yeah, I think a lot of people start reading labels. I had no idea it was on some of my favorite things, too, so very important. Lindsay, thanks for that.